sandboxing is a requirement from Apple to be on the Mac App Store, and like many other developers, we've encountered our share of bugs that have hindered development. But I felt this bug in particular was so outrageous and deserved a video to demonstrate. When we shipped our first version of Hype with sandboxing enabled, we started getting many reports of users not being able to save documents due to permission errors. In their logs was a message about not being able to get a sandbox extension, which has to do with the related files API necessary in our export flow. The route we tracked this down to is somewhat unbelievable rookie mistake. I can reproduce with an unmodified copy of TextEdit to demonstrate this is entirely an Apple bug. Start out by creating a basic text document and saving it. This makes an RTF file. If I add an image, TextEdit must convert the format to RTFD. When I try to save this again, you can see it works just fine and the document is clearly um, an RTFD. But let's see what happens if I simply change TextEdit's name to include a space. I'll do the same steps, create a regular text document and save it. Now I'll drag the image again and tell TextEdit to convert to RTFD. However, upon save, it pops up a permissions error. In truth, there is no permissions problem, but a bug in Mac App Sandboxing. If I were to change TextEdit's name to something else, not including a space or character needing to be escaped, the bug wouldn't manifest. So it's not just because I changed the application name alone, but changed it to include certain characters. You may say, okay, that's not a big deal. It isn't like users sit around all day adding spaces to their text edit. That's true, but the bug can commonly manifest in other ways. Let's say I download multiple copies of Hype, which is a scenario um, likely if a new version has been released. When I unzip them, the archive utility will automatically put spaces in the name. Now let's launch Hype and see what happens. Users reported the bug when exporting as HTML5. There it is, yuck. The bug isn't just if there's a space or escapable character in the name. It'll also manifest if that space is anywhere in the entire application path. For example, if I stick the Hype application in a folder called My Favorite Apps with spaces, the bug will happen just the same even though Hype is just has no space. So at the end of the day, I just really wish someone at Apple dog-fooded sandboxing or at least lived on a home folder with spaces in the path before shipping. 